Hello people, welcome back to my channel. The topic for today's video is a priori principle. So in the last video, we saw what was association rule and some of the terms related to association rule that we'll be using in our uh, future videos. So uh, today, let's see what is a priori principle and some of the terms which are related to a priori principle that we'll be using. So uh, when we deal with association rule in machine learning or data mining, uh, we have two main techniques to do or to extract the uh, rules from particular data set. So the very first is a priori principle and the second one is called as eclat. That is equivalence using class transformation. So that we'll be seeing in some other videos. So today's video, let's focus on a priori principle. So uh, when we first consider a priori, it works in a breadth first manner that is BFS means at the same level all item sets have same size so say uh, you have phi here at the very beginning then you have say a b c then what you do is you just combine all this a b a c b c so at level 1 that is l is equal to 1 you have all the one item set at level two you have two item set so that's what bfs uh, for a priori is and then uh, the support is counted based on the subsets so with the subset you count the support of each of this from a set of transactions so that will be clear more uh, when we deal with a lattice structure so that activity will be uh, doing in some other videos so uh, in today's video uh, let's see some of the terms and some of the principles so uh, a priori principle uh, basically has one tagline that is if an item set is frequent that is if an item set is frequent then all of its subsets are also frequent this is what the a priori principle is so conversely what we have is if an item set is infrequent then all of its immediate supersets must also be infrequent now what is uh, subset and superset subset is uh, this upper portion so uh, you get all the subset and it's done in this way so if you move the lattice from top to bottom you get the superset and if you traverse from bottom to top you get the subset and uh, thus so you have uh, one main uh, pruning principle that is called as support based pruning and so what advantage it carries is it will help in uh, trimming down your lattice in an exponential way trimming the lattice in an exponential way so what support based pruning says is that the support of an item set never exceeds support of its subsets. So uh, this definitions will be more clear when we deal with a lattice activity where we'll be uh, dealing with the different types of other terms. Now, uh, see, uh, I is a particular item set containing certain types of items like bread, butter, beers, diapers, cola, etc. Uh, then represent J as the power set of this I. Power set means you have all 2 raised to i possible number of items. Now uh, there is a principle or there is one property which is called that is called as the monotonicity principle. 
or the monotone property so uh, what this is is that for all x and y x and y are uh, basically the uh, item sets which belongs to this j that is this power set this is j you have a mapping that is your x is subset of y such that f of x is less than or equal to f of y so this is the monotonicity principle now conversely you have an anti monoton principle that is for the same setting you have x subset of y you have the mapping given as f of y is less than or equal to f of x what this f is f is some kind of interestingness measure it can be either support or confidence so whenever you do uh, any support based pruning you have to follow this monotonicity principle or anti monoton principle next what we have is uh, we'll define some terms based upon the frequent item set so we already know what is an frequent item set that is its support should be greater than or equal to the min sub that is a defined uh, parameter or the threshold so now what we have is uh, we have something called as maximal frequent maximal frequent item set so what maximal frequent item set is an item set is maximal frequent if it is frequent and none of its immediate supersets are frequent means uh, all the immediate superset immediate superset here means say in the so uh, this is the second level so in the third level what we probably can have is a b c then uh, a c b something like this so uh, this is also a superset and this is also superset for this one but when you talk about immediate superset that is this one that is level 2 we are talking about level 2 when it deals with immediate superset so according to this definition that is maximal frequent item set is that the immediate superset will not be frequent that is they will be infrequent infrequent how it happens is that it will fail the min sub condition so that's what a maximal frequent item set is then what we have is called as a closed item set so an item set is closed if none of its superset have the same support count so say for example uh, this have a support count of 7 then all of this should not have a uh, seven uh, support count it can be six or five or four so these can be frequent but it should not have the same support count as uh, the first level or from the parent uh, which it came so that's what the closed item set is next what we have is called as a combination of this that is the closed frequent item set so a closed frequent item set is that item set if it is frequent so that is a very first condition that it should be frequent second is that it should be closed and the third qualifying condition is that its support is greater than or equal to the min sub parameter so usually we don't do uh, this separately and this separately but uh, we instead we find the maximal frequent and then we directly go with the closed frequent item set so obviously if this is the condition then you should not check this closed item set so we usually do maximal frequent and then we go for closed frequent item set 
so uh, what a venn diagram of this particular uh, thing what we have spoken here is say you have frequent item sets then you have closed frequent and then you have maximal frequent so the proximity is from inside to out so first it should be maximal frequent then it is closed frequent and then it is frequent so if it is maximal frequent or if an item set is maximal frequent then automatically it will be closed frequent too so uh, this is all about uh, the a priori principle in machine learning so hope you guys enjoyed this video found out edge got this video please do like share comment and if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing thank you very much for watching this video